Do you remember when working out used to be really hard? Now, look, I'm not saying that training is always easy, but do you remember when one workout was enough? When a tough session left you feeling completely wrecked, but now you've gotten pretty good at pushing yourself compared to where you started. That discomfort isn't what it used to be. Would you agree? It's like a choose your own adventure book. Do you remember these as a kid? If you do, you, you realize that you basically have two choices. You're at a crossroads. Option one, you can up the ante. If one workout wasn't enough, maybe you need to do two. Maybe you need to do three. Oh, run a 10K isn't all that it was cracked up to be? How about an ultra marathon? How can we take your physical discomfort to the next level? Now, this isn't wrong. There's always more discomfort more novel experiences to be found in the physical realm. You can always find more hobbies, right? But is that the direction that you want to go? Here's the real question. Is that the direction that you need to go? Now, option two, you can search for where you're not as comfortable with discomfort. Now, in systems theory, this is called a bottleneck or a limiting factor. It's a concept to say that where you'll find the most growth is finding a thing that's in limited supply. This is always where you should focus versus over-engineering the thing that you're already good at. Now, if you're not exactly sure which way to go, here's a question that might help. Which one would be harder for you? In other words, what would do the most good for you? Here's a hypothetical. Would you rather do a, a hard workout or would you rather go to a social event that's necessary, yet you don't know anybody? Would you rather hit a really tough cold plunge session after a long bike ride or sit down with your partner and talk through the challenges that are currently in your relationship? Which would be harder, signing up for a fitness adventure or disconnecting from all social media and dating apps and committing to only engaging with romantic partners face to face? Here's the unfortunate truth, and there's no way around it. Hard isn't your hard anymore. Not the physical kind, at least, but that doesn't mean that you've reached the end of discomfort. It just means that we need to tweak it. We need to redefine it. So ask yourself, where is the real discomfort now? Is it still in the gym or is it somewhere else? Maybe it's time to go beyond being physically tough and explore where you're not so comfortable. In the end, it's not about tripling down on the things that you already know how to do. It's about finding the next area of growth. I hope you have the guts to do it. This has been a monumental statement about incremental change brought to you by the good people at BPR. Subscribe!